The first question I'd ask if I were you is, should I go to university? Closely followed by, is university right for me? Well, as the UK's oldest journalism school, we've been training our students to ask similar questions for over 50 years. Learning to think critically about your situation and asking who, what, why, when and how are excellent ways to get at the truth of any given situation and give you a solid grounding in intellectual curiosity that will help you in any future career. Of course, university is way more than being about your future career, though that's important too. It's also about taking the time to learn deeply, expand your horizons, become a more informed and active citizen. Opportunities to, to travel, making new friends, having life-changing experiences. So let's assume that you've decided to go to university. Your next question is, where should I go to university? Don't worry, we'll come to which course and degree in a moment. Inevitably, the city or region will be a huge factor in your decision. You'll need to think about transport connections, safe and comfortable accommodation, a sense of community, a strong sense of identity, national and international events, great shopping, multilingual population, cultural institutions such as museums and galleries, access to public bodies and governmental institutions, a range of local sports, including facilities for national sports teams, and of course, lots of green spaces. Did you see what I did there? Of course, I am biased, but I can honestly say Cardiff offers all of these things. So what is it that makes Cardiff different? We're fortunate in Wales to have our very own social, political and industrial history that has shaped our people and language and culture into something very distinctive when compared to many other parts of the UK. For a start, Wales is a bilingual country. As the official language in Wales, Welsh is treated no less favourably than English and this means that you're going to see Welsh road signs and menus and TV programmes and documents everywhere you go. And, of course, you'll also hear Welsh being spoken in Cardiff, across Wales, and most importantly here in our school and in our university. Secondly, Cardiff is a capital city, making it Wales' main commercial, political and media centre, and the meeting place of the Senedd, the Welsh Parliament. Amazingly, you get all these things, while the population of Cardiff is just under half a million people. So you get all the benefits of a big city, in a compact space that's safe, easily navigated on foot, and where it's easy to feel like you belong rather than feeling lost. In 2018, we moved our whole school to a brand new custom designed building in Cardiff's media quarter, right next to BBC Cymru Wales, within walking distance of many TV, film, advertising and public relations businesses, and right next to Cardiff Central train station, and the Principality Stadium. If you get the opportunity to visit us here in Two Central Square, please do. It's a fantastic chance to see where you'll be working and studying, to meet our amazing teaching and administration team, and our irreplaceable library staff, who you will be getting to know very well. The first thing that you need to know is that all of our undergraduate programmes are primarily academic, theoretical programs which teach you more about journalism, media and the cultural industries than they train you how to be a journalist or a TV worker or a filmmaker. This is a very conscious decision on our part. We have excellent links with the media industries and in the main they tell us that they want graduates with high quality academic backgrounds, problem solvers, independent researchers, team players, critical thinkers. Another big benefit of a course like this is that if you're an academically strong student who does one of our undergraduate programs, you're less locked into a job than if you'd done a training degree. Our graduates go on to work in a huge variety of media and communications industries, but also other kinds of jobs like teaching, research, setting up their own businesses as entrepreneurs. So, What's the difference between our undergraduate programmes? Firstly, journalism and communications is mainly for those students who are interested in journalism, the news and related industries, whether it's online, on TV, on the radio or in print. Second, 
media and communications is a degree for those of you who are interested in learning about all kinds of non-journalistic media, from TV and film to social media and other creative and cultural industries. Third, media, journalism and culture is for those of you who are interested in learning more about all kinds of media and their importance for things like our identities, our society, politics, and the ways that we see and understand the world. This is the one to choose if you don't want to specialize in learning about either the news or other kinds of media industry. Finally, our joint honors programs give you a lot of choice in how to construct your degrees according to your interests. Research is a term that you'll hear a lot in universities, but why should you care about it? Well, in research intensive, Russell Group universities like Cardiff University, as well as teaching our students, lecturers like me are also doing cutting edge, world leading research. We're writing the books and articles, we're editing the academic journals that students studying media all over the world will be reading. And then we're using that research in the lecture theater. So if you choose to study with us, you've got the added advantage of being taught by world experts who literally wrote the book on their subjects. That's what's meant by research-led teaching. Every seven years, there's a research excellence framework which measures not just the quality of our research, but also how much it changes the world and contributes to society in different ways. And I'm very proud to say that in 2014, and 2021, we were ranked second in the whole of the UK. These results also mean that we're Wales' highest place research centre in any subject area. Cardiff has got probably the UK's biggest concentration of media organisations outside London and Salford. So there are plenty of options for getting placements and work experience in newspapers, magazines, online and broadcast news. There's also a thriving TV and film production sector and a big range of advertising, branding, PR and marketing businesses in the city and nearby. And don't forget about Cardiff Student Media, based in the Students' Union, which is award-winning and really good. With a fortnightly newspaper, daily radio station, and a web TV station producing media by and for students. Okay, that's all from me. Thanks for watching and taking the time. Hopefully this has answered a lot of the questions you may currently be grappling with, but if you do have further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. In the meantime, good luck with your studies in school or college. Good luck with making your decisions. We hope to see you soon.